A few of you have asked me about this particular piece of art on my bookshelf. It's stamp art, a really fun and creative way to display and use your stamps. It was made for me by my friend Suzanne in the UK. She and other artists make beautiful works of art using postage stamps. And she actually inspired me to make this world map. It has almost 2000 stamps, of which some were issued as far back as 120 years ago. This was a lot of fun to make, and it took me weeks to complete. These are my damaged and my duplicate stamps. Nothing of high value here. I mean, think about it. Sometimes millions or tens of millions of a certain kind of stamp are printed. So why not use them to make fun and creative art for display instead of just throwing them out? Besides, I have another Anne Boleyn stamp, so relax. Okay, so this is a really simple example, but I know where we can go find Suzanne and take a look at some of the creative stuff that other stamp artists are up to. So I've made it to Stampix, which is a British stamp show that takes place twice a year here at the iconic Business Design Centre in Islington, London. It's organised by the PTS, or the Philatelic Traders Society, in which members are stamp dealers that have been rigorously reviewed for honesty, integrity and professionalism. So if you're purchasing stamps from a dealer and you see this shield, you know that they're a trusted member of the society. So let's go check out Stampix and see if we can find some stamp art. hobby of stamp collecting to new and different audiences. We not only want the hobby to survive, we want it to thrive. And we do that by concentrating on the aesthetics, the storytelling, the beauty of postage stamps. We want to attract younger people, more women and more diverse populations into the hobby. Stamp art goes all the way back to Victorian times. There are stories from the 1860s, 1870s where people would wallpaper their bathroom walls using penny blacks. There are still places now where decorators are stripping back wallpaper and finding, you know, valuable penny reds, penny blacks on walls behind behind various layers of wallpaper. So it goes back very far and there's lots of different things you can do with stamps and there's no real prescription and we provide a lot of stamps to other people to kind of make their own and give it a go. When you enter the world of stamp art you realise that there's other people also making artwork and beautiful things out of postage stamps. Through social media, you get to know these people, you've never met them before. But then you think actually would it be quite cool if we got everybody together, particularly in an event like Stampex, and show the philatelic world that it's not just me that does this, there's other people doing it too. So we've got a bit of a collaborative group going. We all do slightly different things in slightly different styles, which means that as you can see around me, we have so many more products available and so many more opportunities to get stamps on show and in people's lives. 
Um, hi, I'm Nessa, I'm from Mini Print Vintage um, and I make jewellery, cufflinks and artwork from vintage stamps. Um, for me I think it was just the fact that you can actually take your stamp out with you and wear it um, and it's bringing it to a much wider audience so I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. So I've got um, cufflinks here which are all made from um, vintage stamps, there's three in each, so one each in the aperture and one in the, the, the base here. Um, paperweights, so you can have something on your desk. Um, I've got key rings and basically anything that I can put a stamp in, I will because I think they're just great and it just gets them out there, um, gets people talking about them, gets people who maybe haven't been interested in stamps for a while back into stamps. And the other thing that I get a lot of people asking for commission work, so they've got a specific stamp in mind or their own stamp and they want that turned into a pair of cufflinks or some artwork or something like that. Um, and that's something that I really enjoy doing because it's, it's their ideas and it's really just as, as their imagination is the, the limit really. Sue from Tangle Crafts creates lots of different products all using stamp collages. In this case these are real stamps placed into an address book. But she also creates prints of these same images so we can create anything from coasters, mugs or a tin to place your stamps in. I create pieces like this, which I just call stamp art. Um, the process I do for this is basically working on light and dark areas. So I use light and dark stamps. Um, I grid the canvas up first, so I've got the exact size of the stamps that I'm going to use. And then I grid an image up in Photoshop on a computer. And then it comes down to cutting with a scalpel, sticking each individual stamp down. And finally, if I'm lucky, I end up with a nice looking artwork, which can take somewhere between two and three weeks for each piece. Mr. Churchill here. This is on a background of reprinted wartime newspapers. And it's actually using the Churchill stamps, which were issued in 1965 to commemorate his death. And again, this is all hand cut with a scalpel, each stamp laid down individually. And if you've got any questions about the stamps that you're about to cut up, you can by all means contact me. My details and details of all the featured artists are available linked in the description below.